some breaking news for you. Good morning, Notre Dame. You're going to want a rain jacket. Notre Dame men's basketball. Coming out of the East region. And Can you get me a gym time? Not only that, it was a shutout, of course. For NDTV, I'm Abby Urban. Good morning, Notre Dame. I'm Abby Urban. Thank you for tuning in to ND Sunrise, your source for all of the latest and greatest around campus. We hope you all had a wonderful winter break and we are so happy to be back this semester. Stay tuned today for updates on events such as the recently modified March for Life and all of the information you need to know about the upcoming student body elections. With recent rises in COVID cases and increased difficulty for travel, many events are currently being postponed or canceled, such as the case with the right, to, the right to Life Club's primary event for the year. At least Dahoney has the details. Thank you, Abby. This past Friday, January 21st, the Notre Dame Right to Life Club, the largest student organization on campus, held the first ever Notre Dame Day of Life to support anti-abortion policy. The day started with Mass at the Basilica at 11.30 a.m., celebrated by Father Jenkins. After Mass, the demonstrators marched from the Basilica to Library Lawn to hold a Rally for Life. At the Rally for Life, there were matching bucket hats and many, many colored signs. Notre Dame senior and president of the Right to Life Club, Francie Shaft, told the Observer that the march was, quote, much more of a celebration of life than a protest and explain that in her view and in the view of many marchers, abortion in any social justice context is very much rooted in faith. At the end of the day, Notre Dame posted five photos of the march on the university Instagram page, along with a message about Notre Dame's institutional commitment to the right for life. However, not everyone received the post well. For example, one Notre Dame sophomore, Annalena Barnes, echoing the complaints of a number of other comments on the post, wrote, quote, a cool way to prevent abortion is actually making contraception readily available to your students. Indeed, while demonstrators were protesting outside the library, there was a group of students from Irish for Reproductive Health inside the library handing out condoms for free. Other comments on the post complained about the lack of masks for all the marchers, especially given the increased rates of COVID on campus and across the country. For ND Sunrise, I'm Elise Dahoney. Now back to the desk. Thank you, Elise. We hope for a swift decrease in cases and a return to the full capacity of student events. In these past few weeks, you may have noticed a new feature on our Instagram page, the big three campus events that you should keep in mind for the week. If you haven't, this is your reminder to follow at Notre Dame Television on Instagram to stay up to, up to date with our latest news coverage. On Monday, Megan O'Keefe and Kiki Carney informed our followers about the ND Misconnections Instagram account, which shares the thoughts of anonymous admirers all around campus. Let's turn it over to Megan and Kiki. Hey guys, so we were stalking Indie Missed Connections Instagram account and we wanted to bring some of these to life to really help people connect and get together. So the blonde girl two rows behind me at Bomber Mass yesterday who ran out at the end, next time run into my arms. To the tall guy with the red backpack, I miss you, come back. To the boy that let me cut him in line at the stir fry kiosk because the one I went to was broken. I think I love you. To the girl who gave me a plate in the pasta line in South Dining Hall. I should have gotten your number. Hope to see you soon. To the ROTC girl who I made eye contact with at NDH. I support our troops. To the tall girl I see every time I go to South Dining Hall. Can we eat bad food together? Hope you guys find each other. Thank you. Thank you, Megan and Kiki. We will have to look out for any of our NDTV, NDTV members showing up on that account. Could happen. <laughs> and if you're looking for your own connection, Notre Dame continues to hold many events to get students together. Let's take a look.
This weekend features many artistic events, including AkaFest. AkaFest includes performances from all of the campus acapella groups, including Unchained Melodies, Halftime, The Echoes, Encore, Bella Capella, Harmonia, and The Undertones. That is a lot. <laughs> Tickets are on sale for $5 at the La Fortune box office or at the door, and the show takes place on Saturday at 7.30 p.m. An important deadline to keep in mind, study abroad summer applications close at 11.59 p.m. on Monday, January 31st. Don't miss out on the chance to attend programs in Mexico City, South Africa, Rome, and Jerusalem, just to name a few. See the study abroad website for further details. And if you have a special someone in mind, the countdown for Valentine's Day is very slowly dwindling. <laughs> Irish Gardens is selling floral arrangements, chocolates, and balloons for anyone from significant others to friends. Email igardens at nd.edu or call 631-4004 for order information. You can also stop by the store in the LaFun basement. Now we'll be taking a quick break. We will be right back with an on-set interview about the student body election updates. Welcome back. We are very excited to have Sam Kaufman with us, and he is our resident expert on the student body elections for this year. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm yes. here. I'm, let's get into it. Okay, absolutely. So can you tell us a little bit about who is on the ballot for this year? For sure. So there's two tickets this year. The first is for President Patrick Lee and Vice President Sophia Stitt. Mm -hmm. And then the second ticket is Sierra Stinson for President and Dane Sherman for Vice President. Okay, great. And how can we learn a little bit more about about their platforms and what they're running on. Yeah, so campaigning has started. They're posting on their Instagrams. That's a really great place for mm. students to go. Uh, so see the Stinson Sherman Instagram is Stinson Sherman 4ND, the number four, number not spelled four. out. Um, and then same for Lee Stitt, Lee, at Lee Stitt 4ND on Instagram, the number four in both of those. And they both have their own campaigns. They both have their own platform. So head to the Instagram to find out more. Perfect. And then once we know a little bit more, how can we find out even more um, with the debate? For sure. So the debate is Monday, January 31st at 8 p.m. right here in the Duncan Student oh, Center at Midfield so Commons. Yeah. <laughs> Great. And then how can we cast our vote in the election? Well, it's actually super easy. So oh, Judicial Council sends out an email right to everyone's inbox. So that'll be on February 2nd. Uh, voting goes from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So you have all day to vote, but you can only do it on that day. And it will be right in your inbox, so. Perfect, great, thank you so much, Sam. We appreciate it. Of course, thank you. <laughs> great. Oh, so make sure to cast your Notre Dame civic duty, cast your vote, thank you. And that is all for today's episode of ND Sunrise. We hope you enjoy our coverage of all the latest campus news. Follow us here on our social media and subscribe to our NDTV YouTube page. We upload all of our episodes online so that you never miss out. And if you'd like to get involved with NDTV, we are always looking for new members. All students interested in broadcast journalism and television production can visit our studio here on the second floor of the Duncan Student Center or email us at ndtv at nd.edu. Thank you again for joining us on this first episode of the semester. I'm Abby Urban, and from all of us here in the studio, we wish you a wonderful rest of your week and a great weekend. Go Irish.